hello everyone this is ASM Arif welcoming you to my new tutorial and uh, today I'll show you how to make a brush portrait or brush effect portrait and uh, let's start and go to the file option go to the new and I'll take a canvas which is uh, 2560 and 1440 2560 1440 and the pixel density is 300 ppi or pixel per inch hit the create button and ok and then go to the gradient take a gradient from there and double click over there and here is I'll change the gradient color hit ok and here is the some uh, the single dot that is the line and place that thing till gone and make it 300 and 0 and make it the uh, radial and place the subsection okay you can do this 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 one is good and hit okay after that go to the place embedded option and uh, take a picture which i'll give in the, on the stock image link or the video description Okay, make it bigger ctrl T and hit ok after that we stylize this layer and then make it convert to smart object this sign the smart object and then clipping mask option sorry the masking option and press ctrl I inverse mask and then select this mask and make it white go to the brush option take a new brush which I already installed and then make it smaller and go to the shape dynamics and change the angle like that like that the size and the scattering make it scattered and count to zero after that Okay, get it. Okay. After that, make it bigger. Take another brush, just like that. Make it smaller by pressing the third bracket, third bracket closing. Okay. take another brush and brush over the photo and after that take this one make it more dramatic like that and change the direction of the brush that's good okay but the uh, photo background and the um, this background is uh, black both are black that's why black is not good and I'm deleting this the gradient and making in the center place and I'll give the white gradient over there like that the simple gradient make it radial reverse and make it zero and 300 that's good after that go to the color lookup option and select the fuji film and make it clipping mask and after that go to the gradient map and give the gradient map whole picture and change the color making it blue and making it red red and blue is a good make it skin and reduce the opacity okay color lookup i'll change or reduce the fill option 
get after that go to the color look up again and uh, the horror blue option make it horror blue and reduce the opacity like that after that select all the layers make it group and control alter shift e merge that one go to the filter option mid collection uh, before that i'll go to the camera raw filter camera raw filter i will change the highlight also shadow contrast i'll add contrast make it blackish clarity also saturation by variance and after that amount of sharpening and luminance also after that i will give some flow and okay that's great i'll reduce the saturation of the orange and increase the saturation of red the flow and the green also the core i'll make it and that then okay and <coughs> i'll give a color look up also the foggy effect and the opposite will be that's good and go to the label and After that, I will add some light over there. Go to the file option and place embedded. I will add some light. Uh, I have a light collection which is uh, light. Okay, light collection. Mm, I'll use this light. Place it skin. Make it skin over there ctrl t and transform this one and hit ok here is some mm, uh, dotted uh, things and uh, i'll make it the uh, stylize la the layer after that delete this one that's good to see and this in this one is our final final output okay. uh, thanks for watching my video tutorial and uh, do comment on my video description if you have any type of question and query and uh, feel free to subscribe thank you so much thanks for watching